Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create this text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video first. Let's remove everything from the artboard and let's go to layers. Select our background layer and we need a rectangle of 14 pixel by 700 pixel. Then click OK. Let's center this to the artboard. Then go to gradient panel and apply a radial gradient. I'll use these four colors for my background and let's change the colors. I'll use eyedropper tool. You can use these codes. Let's adjust this gradient. Okay, now let's lock our background layer and I have selected my text effect layer. Let's start creating our text effect. The font I'm using for this text effect is Violeta and the font size will be 225 point. Let's center this to the artboard. Let's add a stylish S from GELFs. By the way, if you don't know where you can find these GELFs, just go to type and here are the GELFs. Next, click on this none to remove the fill color. Then we'll go to appearance panel and click on this icon, add new fill. Then go to gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient. Change the angle to 90. Now. I'll use these two colors for this layer. Again, I'm using eyedropper tool. You can use these codes to fill the colors. Let's adjust this gradient. Next, again, go to appearance panel and duplicate this layer now select our first layer and let's change the color of our first layer then go to gradient panel i'll use these two colors for my first layer next go to appearance panel keep selecting this first layer Go to effect, path and offset path. Apply a minus 2.6 pixel offset path. Then click OK. Again, select this first layer. Go to effect, distort and transform and transform. And in move section, apply a minus 1.7 pixel for horizontal and apply a 1.7 pixel for vertical. Then click OK. Now select this layer, duplicate this. Now select this last layer and change the color of this layer to this one. Now keep selecting this layer, go to effect, distort and transform and transform. And in move section, one pixel for horizontal and one pixel for vertical. And we need four copies this time then click OK next select this layer duplicate this and let's change the color of this layer to this one again go to effect distort and transform and transform in move section 10 pixel for horizontal and 10 pixel for vertical then click OK now drag this layer to bottom and keep selecting this layer and duplicate this now select this last layer and 
first let's go to effect path and offset path apply a 26 pixel offset path and change joins to round then click ok next go to gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient change the angle to 90 and now I'll use these two colors for this layer next let's change the colors so I have changed the colors next go to appearance panel select this last layer and duplicate this now select this layer and click on this arrow then go to transform and change the move values to 13 pixel and 13 pixel then click ok next let's change the color of this layer to this one now select this layer and let's create a copy now select this copied layer and then go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and in move section one pixel for horizontal one pixel for vertical and this time we need 60 copies then click ok now select this layer and drag this to bottom now after that let's change the color of this layer for that we'll go to gradient panel and i'll use these two colors for this layer let's change the colors So you can adjust this, take your time and adjust this perfectly as you want. After that go to appearance panel, select this last layer, duplicate this, now select this layer and let's change the color of this layer to this one. Then click on this little arrow and then go to offset path and change the offset path values to 35 pixel then click ok next select our last layer then go to effect stylize and drop shadow and let's create a drop shadow for this layer so here is our drop shadow click OK so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching